folks, today's video is sponsored by Epidemic Sound. We will talk more about them at the end of the video. But today is gonna be a quick video on the GoPro Media Mod, specifically a problem that I've always had with the Media Mod, and I know a lot of you have had the same issue. It's pretty much the Achilles heel of the Media Mod, so if you own a Media Mod, you know what I'm talking about. And today's, <laughs> Today's video is sort of a, a dear GoPro. So if you guys like and comment on this video enough, maybe maybe GoPro will actually listen to this video and they'll, they'll fix this problem. How cool would it be if enough of us commented and liked on here and, and GoPro actually listened? That would be so dope. They've done it before. Okay, so let's check out first the issue of the Media Mod. What is the Achilles heel of the Media Mod? Because I really do like the Media Mod, minus this one big issue. So to normally mount the Media Mod, you take off the door of the GoPro, and that is because in the Media Mod is the USB-C, that's how it plugs into the whole interface. So then to mount the GoPro on something, you take the Media Mod, take the GoPro, you slide that bad boy in there, and you close that side door. And then to get this thing mounted on something, the media mod's got a hole there so that the GoPro's own flip feet can flip down and you can you can mount just like that. Okay, and seems great. The media mod is mounted on there, GoPro inside. We now have that, that external mic up front that's a little better than the inside mics. We now have a USB-C port on the back. You've got your mic input if you wanna mount an external mic on top right here. Very good, this is a good setup. I really do like the media mod. This video is not to say that the media mod is bad. It's just that there's one thing that could totally be fixed. And that is that right now in this mode, if my battery dies or my SD card becomes full, you have to take the GoPro out. But to take the GoPro out to get to the battery, I can't just unpop it like this and get the GoPro out because the GoPro's feet are going through the hole in the media mod. The whole thing is stuck. And the way that you have to do this is you have to undo the thumb screw. You have to take the whole thing off of the mount, pop this up, lift the GoPro feet up, pull it out. Now I can access the battery. I can change out my battery, put a new one in there. Bink. Now I slide it back in there, lock it down, pop the feet back out the bottom, get it back on there, and thumb screw it back in place. Oh no, the little nugget fell out. All sorts of reasons why this is a pain in the butt. The nut fell out. Get back in there. And there we go. So a simple battery change or a simple SD card change requires you remove this entire thing from the mount, which the flip down feet in the first place was kind of supposed to solve that. Like the flip down feet was to make it so that you could just open the GoPro door and while your GoPro was still mounted on something, you could change the battery and access the SD card. But then when they added in the, the media mod, it it made that all go away and it made it just more difficult to use. But the very simple solution for the media mod can actually be found in another camera that I've recently tested on this channel and I've been testing a ton this past month and that is that is this guy, the Insta360 ONE RS. And part of that testing with this camera this past month has been using their cage a lot. Now the ONE RS requires a cage to operate, which can seem like a pain in the butt at first, but but I've definitely changed my mind on cages recently. Because look how this one works. This one works by, it has its own feet. The cage itself has feet. So when this is mounted, hang on, let's mount it real quick. So now that it's mounted on here like this, you can see the cage is, is the actual piece that's mounted. So when I need to get the camera out to change my battery, change my SD card, I just squeeze here. This little lever pops open and the camera, it, it slides out like that. And that's, that's exactly what this needs. Now it would be silly to say that, that Insta360 made this up or, or that Insta360 solved this problem because technically GoPro solved this problem a long time ago with, with every GoPro that they made before the Hero 8. I think it was the Hero 8. This is the Hero 7 right here. And the Hero 7 in a cage, you open this thing up, the camera can come out because the cage has, hang on. See, the cage has its own feet. So even though cameras used to be in cages, it was really easy to just pop them out and pop them back in, change batteries, change SD cards, and you never actually had to undo the thumb screw for the mount. But then when GoPro decided to design the media mod, they did not give the media mod its own feet. It just has a hole so that the GoPro's flip down feet can flip through that hole. 
And that's what's caused all the problems. The problem with this is that the media mod itself does not have flip down feet because you could imagine a world where it did. Hang on. If the media mod itself had its own feet right here, it wasn't relying on the GoPro's feet. Like they actually had feet right here. Then you would just open the door, slide out your GoPro, oh, little tricky, slide out the GoPro, change the battery, change the SD card, and you would slide it back in close that door up and it would stay mounted to whatever you had it mounted to. Uh, essentially, it would it would work just like the One RS's cage. Um, yeah, a really simple solution to a to a major problem with the media mod. You could do this GoPro. And again, it would just be like a little extra bit of plastic sticking off the bottom of the media mod. It would make it a whole lot better. Speaking of though, if you guys are listening to GoPro, if you are listening to this, I have another thing that I would love to see with the media mod. It would be super cool. Right now with the media mod, you can choose front mic or rear mic, but you have to decide which mic you want. I would love if there was an option for the GoPro to record two channels like right and left, but the right channel I could make be the front mic and the left channel I could make be the rear mic. Similar to, similar to how this guy works. This is the Deity D4 Duo and there's a microphone on the front and there's also a microphone on the back. So if I have this mounted to a camera that, that can do two channels like that, then when it's on the dual channel mode, which is, which is that mode right there, then it's actually recording to one channel, the left channel and the rear mic to the right channel. And I can, I can play with that in post. So if I'm behind the camera and I'm interviewing somebody, maybe someone's talking and then I say something, and then they say something, then I say something, and they're in front of the camera, but I'm behind the camera. It's recording both of our voices to two separate channels. When I bring that into post, I then have both of those audios to be able to play with. Unfortunately, on the media mod right now, if I select front mic, but I'm behind the camera talking, I sound super muffled and the person sounds great. But if I could have two audio tracks to work with, that that would be super dope. Again, the feet thing, that's the biggest issue. If you could just add feet to the media mod, a little extra bit of plastic right here, that that would for sure be like my, wow, this is so much better, media mod 2.0, huge fix. But while you're at it, if you wanna solve that audio problem, that, that would be super dope also. And speaking of solving problems, a huge problem solver is the sponsor of today's video, Epidemic Sound. One of the biggest problems for creators is being able to find high quality music tracks for their videos. Because if you're going out there and you are making videos with your GoPro, you're filming all these super cool action sequences and you wanna put that to, to kind of the beat of some music, and then you wanna take that super dope video that you've made and you wanna put it on the internet, you've got to license that music that you use. And that used to be such a big problem for creators until Epidemic Sound came along. One super simple monthly subscription and you get access to all 35,000 of their music tracks, all 90,000 of their sound effects. The sound effects library is, it seems endless. Like look up any sound effect and it's in there. But the best part is they offer a totally free trial. First thing in the description, go in there, download a bunch of music, start working with it. Like see what it's like to take high quality music and, and make a video out of it, it's better. Again, first thing in the description, check out Epidemic Sound. You're, uh, you're gonna be very happy you did. Okay, that is all for today on the GoPro Media Mod. What do you guys think though? Do you guys, do you see that as like a super simple solution that GoPro could just add feet on here and solve a lot of our woes with the Media Mod? Again, comment and like below. Let's see if we can get GoPro's attention. Maybe GoPro will see this video and come out with a, a Media Mod 2.0, the Media Mod having its own feet. And if they're if they're just feeling frisky, right channel, left channel, that would be super dope. GoPro's done a good job of listening in the past. I, I think I think they will listen. I hope that they will listen. It just seemed like such an easy fix. Also, the uh, one month later on the One RS video is coming very soon. This thing has changed my mind in a lot of ways. From when I first shot with this camera to now, I've definitely changed my mind on like four things. Subscribe, ring the bell. Uh, don't miss that video either. I, uh, yeah, I hope GoPro does this. Yeah, I'll see you soon. <coughs> what am I doing? Blah, double, double camera, blah. Stupid. <laughs> Bye.